Hello, I'm Dr. Paul Dyer. Well, I want to talk to you today about, first of all, I want to talk about science and the holistic living. So, I understand that when I'm trying to bridge that gap between the two, um, I want to let you know that, you know, the science is not trying to explain the living holistic of life, okay, or the holistic sciences. Because when you, when we talk to scientists, scientists often tries to put things into a box of understanding. And understanding comes into a lot of, not so much of a spiritual practice or a emotional practice, but more of a uh, uh, material form that you can wrap your mind around. It's not just a switch to base on thought of a yes or a no, okay? Because when we are talking about the, the science of holistic life, we are actually referring to helping to uh, explain how it actually works on the different levels of the physical plane, because you have the astral plane, which is things that happens outside your body, and then you have your physical plane and the things that happens within the body. And even inside the body, there are different actions that are taking place. So you have the nervous system, you have the muscle system, you have, you know, the, the, the different structures of what's doing the process. In the science part that I talk about is what is the cause and effect once the action of the holistic practice hits the cell. And that cell has an explosion like the sun does. The sun has explosions all the time and it sends off different rays. Um, you know, we can change the state more than just a on or off. You know, we're more organic than a, an electric signal like a television or a, a radio, okay? We can create the impulses. So when we're referring to sciences, that's why I ask people to send me questions about what's your questions about the science because it has to be a definitive to your question because general science is about interpretation of what you are relating it to, okay? So whether it be breathing, whether it be a physical action, whether it be your martial studies, whether it be doing some of your katas and your breathing and your qigong and your uh, tai chi, it, it creates a binary arithmetic that corresponds with the sacred geometry of life. And that's why we do the movement so much and so well, because we create that binary code with our breath, with our movement, with, with organ action, okay? So I want you to ask the question, how is my practice related to the science and how is the cause and effect? Because for you to know that, that will enhance your practice. Why? Because your understanding becomes relative to what you're doing. It is not so much esoteric, like it's just made up or made believe, but then you start to understand the true function of the action. You know, Buddha says, if you don't understand your studies, then your studies are never understand or capture you. So consider the world as a pattern that we flow into. And in that grid and in those patterns, we move in and out, just like the stars, the planets. We have a rise and fall energy exchange. So, so please ask the question, get out there, do the work, and enjoy learning about the living sciences. Namaste.